And it reads, this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds. You what? Stir up your pure, pure minds. Mind, right? So that's what we out here to do, man, to stir up the pure minds of the saints, man, to bring you back to your true nationality, man, right? Your ancient biblical forefathers, hey, went through things, hey, in the Bible that is written for our learning, for us to come back to the power that we once had, and we lost, man. That's right. Right? And we come out here to, a. Hey, Build up the ruins of old, man, and bring back our people and build up the kingdom of the Most High God, man, right. here on earth, man, because we're going to rule here on earth, right? right? So read that real quick. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3, and verse 43. Yeah. They said one to another, Let us restore the decayed fortune of our people. What the Lord said? Let, let us restore, restore the, the decayed decay fortune of our, our people. people. Right. And let us fight for our people and the sanctuary. That's what we doing, man, is to build up those old ancient ruins, man, right, of Yasha Allah, Israel, man, right, the decayed, hey, the decayed kingdom that, that once was before mighty, now has become low, down to the ground, eating the dirt, right, we crawling with the worms, man, right, we were once a mighty people, man, but guess what, now we vagabonds in the earth, right, right, now we become niggas, right, now we become spicks, now we become black, Everything that's absent from light, man. Voidness, wickedness, stupidity. Saw his children as the most high causes, man. Right? The mighty men that once stood before the Lord and marched and broke down many, many strongholds became a degenerate plant, man. Right? Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 12, real quick. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 12. And labor, working with our own hands, being reviled. We bless, be persecuted, right. we suffer it, being defamed, we entreat, we are made as the filth of the world. We are, what? We we are, are made, made as, as the, the filth, filth of, of the, the world. world. And that's what we've become before these nations, man. We've become the filth of the world, man. They uh -huh. look at us and they feel like it's a spectacle. Right. They, when they see niggas gathering together, they feel like we're going to rap. Or we gonna do something, hey, not, hey, nonsensible, man. Jump somebody, man. Hey, brother in the back right here. Young King, what's your nationality, brother? That's right. That's Yes, sir. Mixed. mixed. What's your father? Black, African American. Black, African American. I have a couple minutes with you, man. Uh, right? You you believe in the Bible? I do. Right? You ever heard of the Israelites before? Yes, sir. What you know about the Israelites, King? Uh, not much. Not much. Okay. Well, guess what? That's what we out here to tell you who they truly are, man. Right? So according to biblical knowledge, man, biblical history, a. Hey, and prophecy that the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, right, man. And we understand that through prophecy, man. Can I show you a couple of scriptures real quick before you go? Right? I'll praise to the Most High. So you say your father was black, right? So the term mixed, it doesn't apply to men, right? Because your seed comes from the father, right? That's right. So you are what your father is, right? right? And so if you are so-called, your father so-called black man, then you would be from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe that Christ come from. Right? Did you know that Christ was a black man? I figured. You figured? Right? Can I show you that and prove it in the Bible real quick? Right? Give me that real quick. Let me show you, young king. Revelation. Right? Yeah, re get, whoever get it first. It's the book of Revelation. Chapter 1 and 1? Yeah. Start. Chapter 1 and verse number 1. Right up. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this word revelation, the root word is what? To reveal. Right? So we're about to reveal you who Christ really looked like. Right? Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Right. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Right? Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Right. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Right. So this is John, right? He was exiled to the Isle of Patmos, right? So he was in the spirit on the Lord's day and he had a vision of the one you call Jesus Christ, right? His real name is Amashiach Yahweh Shai, right? So he's about to give you what he's seen, okay? Jump down to 13. It's the... Revelation 1 and 13. Right. And in the midst of the seven golden and the seven candlesticks. Right. One like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So when he seen the Messiah, man, he had a golden girdle, man, like a WWF belt, right? You ever seen one of them? Right? Our father was decked out, man. Right? Read on. His head and his hair. His what? His, his head, head and, and his, his hair. Hairs, right? Were white. Like wool. So what people on the planet Earth have woolly hair? That's right. Read on. 
as white as snow, right. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, right. and his feet, and his what? And, and his, his feet. feet. Right. So when you take off your shoes, the top of your feet is the same color as the rest of your body, right? So we about to reveal the skin color or the skin tone of Christ, right? Read that. And his feet like unto fine brass. Like what? Like, like unto fine, fine brass. brass. Right? As if, as if they burned in a furnace. So he said his feet was like fine brass, right? What color is brass? It's dark. It's brown, right? A derivative of brown, right? And it said he was so dark he looked like he burned in a furnace, man. Right? So your Lord and Savior is a black man, according to the scriptures, man. That's right? right? What you think about that? That's interesting, right? Right? So what would you think his people would look like? If he if he's a black man, what would his people look like? Like him. Exactly like him, right? So that's the line in the lineage that you come from. Right. It's Israel, right? So do you know that God also has a color? Yes. The most high God, let's show you. Give me Daniel 7 and 9. Give me uh Revelation 4 and 3. It's Read that. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. Right I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. So the Ancient of Days is another term or another word used for the Most High God, right? Read. Whose garment was white as snow. He had a garment on too, right? Because he's not a puff of smoke. He's not just a thought or he's not just a universe. He has a physical temple, right? His body, right? Read on. Whose garment was white as snow. Right. And the hair of his head. And he got hair on his head. Like the pure wool. Like the what? Like, like the, the pure, pure wool. wool. So your heavenly father that's sitting on the throne in the third heaven right now has woolly hair. That's right. An afro on his head, man. God. Right? And he got a skin color, man. We about to reveal that to you too, right? Read that. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 4 and verse 3. Right. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. So if you ever know what to look up a jasper or a sardine stone, I believe we got it on here somewhere, right? That's the color of the Most High God. That's, right. That's his skin tone, man, right? So you got to ask yourself the question, right? Come here for a second, brother. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who is that man right there? A depiction of Jesus, right? But that would be a false image, right? Why did these people put this up? Brainwash. Hmm? Brainwash. That's a beautiful answer, man. Right? right? And, con, con. And I'm going to ask you a real quick question. Who was the people that set this image up? What you say, ma'am, in the back? Okay. So can I ask you a question? Is you his family? Okay. All right. Well, say, hey. Thou says, white people did, did, right? And they also did what? Took you into captivity. That's right. Right? So these things you got to understand and you got to remember, man, that you are true children of the Most High God, man, right. and this is a false image. This man, he's an actual man. His name is Cesare Borgia. Right. Right? He come from the uh, sixth Pope Alexander, right? right, right. And um, this dude was, it was a homosexual, a pedophile. Right. You know, he loved on his sister creep. and so on and so forth. Right. A creep. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what our people have been following for so many years. Right. But we got to ask ourselves, why did we have to follow this? Why Why do we follow these ways, right? Right? I'm going to show you why. Give me Deuteronomy real quick. 28. Right? Okay. Come on, read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Right now. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses, all these what, all, all these, these curses, curses right? shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. So the Lord said, guess what? If we don't listen to the Most High God and follow all His commandments, then these curses will come upon His people, man. Which are the Israelites, right? And one of the curses is that we will serve other gods, man. Right. Right. Give me that book in the, uh, what's that, sixty-four or forty-six? Right. Read that sixty-four. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and verse sixty-four. Bring it up. And the Lord. Shall scatter thee from and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people right. from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Right. And so who who was scattered throughout the earth in captivity, right? From one end of the earth even to the other, and to all nations. Oh, that's right, read that. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. What the Lord say? There yeah. thou shalt yeah. serve yeah. other yeah. gods, yeah. Right. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Right. So when he's speaking of wood, 
He's talking about that cross, right? right. right? Because that's the biggest religion in the world, Christianity. Right. And the Lord said, you're going to serve another God, wood. And he said, also stone. What's the second biggest religion in the world? And most black people, when they come out of jail, they convert to this. Islam? That's what I'm talking about. That's it. And that's what the Lord said you were going to do. Because what? We did not follow his commandments. These were curses placed on our people, That's man. Right. right? And he put people over us to keep us in subjection. That's and I'm going to show you where this image come from. Due to your oppressor uh, blinding and destroying your mind. Because the right. Lord sent them against you for not following his commandments, right? I'm going to show you where that come from. Right? Read that. Oh. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 14. What, 15? 15. And verse number 15. Bring it up. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning. Right? Where he has made an image of his child, soon taken away, now honored as a god, right. which was then a dead man. Right, so now this man has been set up to be honored as a god, right? And he was a dead man, right? This man died from what? Syphilis, I believe it was. AIDS. 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 Yeah, that's even worse. You know what I'm saying? So now he said he set this image up of his son to be honored as a god, right? Read. And delivered. To those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. So he made his slaves serve this white man, right? So that's why you're still confused and destroyed today, right? Because first of all, we don't read. Right, we right. don't get in to acquire our knowledge. Give me Job 8 and 8. We don't acquire who our forefathers was right. or actually our history. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3, right? Because us as a people, we are fully set in our ways, man. Right. We don't want to turn to the right or to the left. We want to go straight ahead, tunnel vision. Right. And it don't matter what anybody that looks like you tell you, we want to go the opposite way. Right. And we want to follow other people. Right? So, you done, King? Well, let me give you one more scripture, man. Let me show you something. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 12 or 13. I'm going to give you one more scripture, man. Right? And this is for you. You need to take this to heart, man. And remember, man, we got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, man. Right? In order to receive salvation. Right, right? right? Salvation is only for you. Right? I'm sorry to say, man, but your family, they can't go. It's only for you, man. You understand that? So read this, man. Read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Right? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is the conclusion of everything. Fear God, what? Fear, fear God, God, right? And keep His commandments, right? For this is the whole duty of man, right? So this is the whole duty of man is to keep His commandments. You will find the commandments in the books of the Bible, the first five books, right? It will behoove you to dive into these scriptures and learn your forefathers' history, man, right? And come back to the Most High God and repent, That's right. okay? And keep these commandments, man. Do you know how to repent, young brother? You do. How you how you repent, King? Huh? I know. But I really gotta go. I'm, I'm just asking the question real quick. How you repent? I'm gonna let you go. I ain't gonna take up too much time from you. Just so ask you how you repent real quick. I lay down my life before God. You lay down your life before God. I'm gonna show you real quick, man. Read the Acts. This is the book of Sirach, the seventh verse. Hey, King, just remember you're God on this earth, man. Don't let nobody take that away from you, man. Right, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right, remember right, that, King. That's right. right, and that's the thing right there, man. Our people, man. Give me um. Give me Jeremiah 50 and 6 real quick, somebody. Right, Jeremiah 50 and 6. That's the problem, man. You know, our forefathers have wanted to follow after these other people, man, and they caused confusion in the earth, man. Right, right. And now the brother's confused, and he and he got conflicted when I told him his family couldn't go. Right. Right? And that's a detriment to our people, man. They get hey, they getting their feelings and they hey, they it's it's sad, but it's true because his father made a mistake by laying down with that dog. Right. Man. right. You understand? Read that, King. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. What the Lord say? My, My people, people have been, been lost sheep. sheep. Right. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Right. They have turned them away on the mountains. Right. They have gone from mountain to hill. We have gone from mountain to hill. Once a mighty people to a lower state, man. Right, Read. They have forgotten their resting place. What the Lord said? They, they have, have forgotten, forgotten their, their resting place. place. And that's the problem, man. We have forgotten our resting place, man. And our resting place is in the Lord, man. In the bosom of Yahweh, why Yahweh shine, man. The Lord said, man, if we seek that protection, we got to be under the wings of the Almighty, man. That's right. You understand? And we have, hey, deviated from the plan long ago. That's why we walking out here to and fro, being tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine, man. Right. We can't keep a stable mind. We double-minded double at best, right? 
And we try to seek the Most High in every other way, but it's impossible, man. Right? Right? Because the Most High is not revealing himself because we don't follow his ways. Right? Give me Hosea 5 and 15, somebody. Right? Hosea 5 and 15 real quick. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 5. In verse number 15. Bring it up. And it reads, I will go and return to my place. Right? Till they acknowledge in their offense right and seek my face in their affliction right they will seek me early that's the thing man the lord said i'm gonna turn my back on you until you go and you acknowledge your transgressions man right and that's the problem how are you going to understand what transgression is which is sin if you don't know what the commandments are right. how do you know to repent from right. right our people do not consider give me that again our people do uh isaiah one and three right our people do not understand where they come from who they are, what power they hold, right? And we just walk into a fro as blind mice, man, in these streets, right? Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Right up. The ox knoweth his owner. The what? The, the ox, ox knoweth his, his owner. owner. Right. And the ass is master's grill. Right. Hey, these are two dumb animals, man. And the right. Lord said an ox knows his owner, and a jackass knows what his master's crib is, right? But read. But Israel, well, who? but, but Israel, Israel do not know. Right. My people do not consider. And we don't even consider, man. We don't even care who we are, man. We are quite content being black men. Right. We are content being Negro. Right. We are content being spits and messes, man. That's it. As long as we can have our little watermelon and chicken, we good. What's going on, King? You got a couple minutes to hear the words of the Lord? Hey, hey well, what's the word of the Lord then, brother? See that? Hey, repent, keep the commandments, man. You're an Israelite, man, most likely, man. Right? Read that. How you know? Come talk to us. Right. Come on, gang. Hey, now you bear a false witness. See? That's that's his, that's a prime example, man. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3 from the top. Right. Up. The ox knoweth his owner. Right. And the ass is master's crib. Right. But Israel. But who? But Israel. Israel. And that's our problem, man. Our people want to follow behind these flat backers, man. Right. These skinless, the merciless moles. These right. daggum worms that's coming out of these damn holes, man. That's right. That can't stand in the sun for 10 minutes, man. Right. Catching melanoma. If I even said that right. Right. <laughs> right. But our people, man, it's, it's, it's wicked, man. It's crazy, right? Read that. But Israel do not know. Right. My people do not consider. Read. A sinful nation. A who? A, a sinful, sinful nation. nation. Right. A people laden with iniquity. A people that's full of iniquity, man. Right? Because that's all we do is indulge in iniquity all day. Like the Lord said, my people rise up early to commit iniquity, man. They are wise to do evil. Come on over here, brother. Get the words of the Lord, King. Right. Right? You walking with a gaggle of oppressors, man. Yeah, you supposed right. to separate yourself, man. You a king on this earth, man. That's right, right. Right? Read on. A sinful nation. Okay. A people laden with iniquity. Right. A seed of evildoers. A what? A, a seed, seed of, of evildoers. evildoers. Right. Children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel. And that's the problem, man. We've forsaken the Lord and we have provoked the Holy One of Israel, man. And guess what? He said, I'm going hey, to give you that recompense. The Lord is the Lord of recompense, man. Right. And if you want to do him like he, hey, guess what? He's going to return that favor, man. But it's going to be ten times worse, man. Because you're playing with the creator of the whole world, man. The whole universe, man. And you think you can top him? Your arms are too short to box with your how about shimmy out shine, man. Right, 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 right. read. The Holy One of Israel unto right. anger. Right. They are gone away backward. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Right. You will result more and more. Revolt. Revolt, so like you. You will revolt more and more. Right. The whole head is sick. The what? The, the whole, whole head, head is sick. sick. Hey, man, the whole head is sick. And what happens to the body when the head is sick? The whole body going to follow. Right. Now you discombobulated, man. You don't know what to do. Your mind will tell you, man, look. Hey, it's it's 65 degrees in the crib, but guess what? Hey, your body say it's a hundred, mm. and you out here you confused. Mm. You hey, you in a hey, you bundling up in the coat, and then next thing you know, you coming up out that coat, man, and it's 30 degrees outside, man. It's full of madness, man. Right? right? right. The whole head is sick. Even your leaders, man, Al right. Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, right. Creflo Dollar, uh, what's the other damn TD Snakes, man? Yeah. Right? They sick. And they want they get paid to keep you in darkness, man. Right? But we follow like blind mice, man. And we go every way they tell us to go, man. Right? Give me the book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 6, real quick. Right? 
the book of Jude chapter 1 and verse 6 and give me um, Deuteronomy 30 and uh, 15 right verse 6 and it reads and the angels which kept not their first estate what the Lord say and, and the, the angels, angels which kept not their, their first estate, estate right but left their own habitation and that's the problem man the angels is talking about Yasha Allah man we left our first estate man we once walked among princes kings right righteous foremothers and forefathers man uh -huh. going into battle destroying every other nation man and receiving the actual commandments from the Most High himself man right. Right? Right. right and we have changed our estate like I said, now we walking to and fro, man. We 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 crips, we bloods. Right, right. We hate one another, man. Hey, guess what? If I look at you too long, you ready to decapitate me, man? Right. Take my life, man. Right? right? Man. We once, hey, we once was giving the holy kisses to one another, man. Right. We was greeting from a distance, saying, "Hey, that's an Israelite indeed, right. man." Right? But now we look and say, "Hey, what are you looking at? How you doing, King and Princess? How how y'all doing? You got a couple minutes to hear the words of the Lord?" You good? Hey, there's none good. Give me Amos uh, 8 and 11 real quick. Hold that. Give me Amos 8 and 11. This for you, King. Listen to this real quick. Right? Quick on the sword. Amos 8 and 11. Right? God. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8 and verse 11. Right. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, right. that I will send a famine in the land, right. not a famine of bread, nor the thirst of, for water, right. but of hearing the words of the Lord. What the Lord said? But of hearing, hearing the, the words of the Lord. Lord. And that's the problem. You damn Jake and Eve. Y'all always got something else to do. You always think you good. And hey, whatever you got to do is more important than the Lord. But guess what, man? This might have been your only opportunity, man. That's man. right. Hey, the Lord might make you bend that block. And guess what? Get woe out by the greyhound. Right. Man, you never know what the Lord got in store for you, man. He said, I'm not going to send a famine of bread, but a famine of the word, man. Right. And when he take his soldiers off the street, hey, man, that means checkmate. Everything is done, man. Right. right? Go back to that Jew 1 and 6. Wake him up, huh? the Jew. Verse 6, right. and the angels which kept not their first estate, right. but left their own habitation. Right. He has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness. And that's exactly what we in, man. We in everlasting bondage, man. Right. We're in everlasting confusion, man. We groping at noonday, man, like the blind that grope within the darkness, man. Right? And we bow down with this sickness, man, and disease and afflicted. And when you under the foot of your oppressors, man, whenever your oppressor can put his ne a knee on your neck for nine minutes, that's a problem. Right. And nothing happens, that's a problem. Right? 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 But guess what? You two destroyed to even consider the situation that you're in. Because you're comfortable, man. Right. right? Read what you got, huh? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 5. Yeah. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Right. And repent. And what? And, and repent. repent. Right. And do the first works. Right. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and remove thy candlestick out of this place. And that's the Lord telling you, man, to wake up, man, to remember where you once came from, man. Right. right? And restore this kingdom, man, before it's too late. Because he's only taken a few good men. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like Gideon, he went to battle with 300. Right? He didn't want, hey, the Lord didn't want all them men out there, man. Right? Uh -huh. To show his power in the earth, that's man. Right. right? And that's what he's doing now. He's raising up his army, man. Somebody give me Ezekiel 37, exceeding great army. Right? Right? Hold that. Okay, come. Right? And that's exactly what is happening before your eyes, man. Is right. The exceeding great army has been lifted from the ashes of the earth, man. From the dust and from the scud in the scum of the ground. And guess what? It's rising back to power right before right. your eyes. That's and right. guess what? The Lord said it's a dreadful sound in the ear of these heathen that right. hear these brothers come out here and sigh and cry right. for the wickedness and the, uh, the, the atrocities and the foolishness that y'all put upon my people, man. Right. Right. Who got it? Read it. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, and verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, and an exceeding great army, an exceeding great army, an exceeding great army. Hey, Kyle. You see a exceeding great army before you, man. You see all these masters up here? These is your uh former sla uh, your uh, future slave masters, right? right? right. right. What you think about that? Uh, I think we're all equal. Uh, hey, prove that. How are we equal? Look at your skin and look at mine. Right. Right. How are we equal? Don't touch me, but you can look at your skin. We bleed red. 
No, hey brother, you don't bleed like I do, man. Right. My forefathers bled for 500 years. Right. Where your forefathers come from? Right. You damn cave beast. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. And the irises, hey, y'all do. Y'all damn devils damn near died after losing a potato. Right. You right. damn devils, man. Right. Wicked ass demons, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, what we live off. Go ahead, go ahead. Bring that up. Ezekiel 37, verse 10 again. Right. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them, right. and they lived, right. and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Right. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. It's the whole house of Israel. You got to understand and notice that the Bible is a reoccurring theme. It's always the house of Israel. It's always about Israel. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob from the beginning. The promise was given to Abraham that his seed would inherit the land, man. Right? And I don't understand where they be getting this Oh, we grafted in type mess, man. We all the same. There was no equality ever in the eyes of the Most High God, man. Ever in the Bible. This is the reason why you know these people don't read the Bible, man. They just regurgitate whatever they hear, man. Right? right? You ain't nothing but devils, man. Go back to Deuteronomy uh, 30 and 15 real quick. Bring right? Read it. Up. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15. Right See, I have set before thee this day life and good, right. and death and evil, right. and that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments right. that thou mayest live and multiply. And that's the thing, man. The Lord has set before you life and good, man. Right. Death and evil. Right. But you always choose death, Jake. Jake constantly uses and choosing the death move, man. Right. You tell Jake to stop smoking. I can't do that, man. I can't do that, man. I'm addicted to the weed, man. Right? Stop listening to that blasphemous music you listen to. I can't, man. That beat is too dope, man. Stop fornicating with all these female. Hey, what's going on, King? What's your nationality? Mix. Mix? What, what, what with, brother? Black and white. What's your father? Black. Come hear the words of the Lord. This for you, King. Come hear the words of the Lord. This for you. You're an Israelite, man. Right? You a prince walking on this earth, man. Repent, keep the commandments, man, and separate for your damn enemies, man. Right? Right? Read, uh, read what you got. Seven, seven, Oh, like this is the book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 16. The crown is falling from our head. What the Lord say? The crown is falling from our head. Right. Woe unto us that we have sinned. For this our heart is faint. And this is the problem, man. Like I said, we was once kings, man. Princes. Princesses walking this earth, man. The crown set upon our heads, man. Our forefathers set upon thrones, man. But guess what? Due to your iniquity and due to your sin, guess what? The Lord walked up behind you. Knock the dead off your head, man. Right? Because you plan too much, man. You don't believe in the Lord, man. You have lost your power, man. And you convert you you will pervert your way going every other way, man. But the most high, man. Right? Give me the book. Uh oh, you got something? Go ahead. Give me the book of Ecclesiastes. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and verse 15. Because you have said, We have made a covenant with death. With what? With death. And with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge. And that's the problem, man. Our people have made lies our refuge. Where is Caesar Borges, man? Caesar Borges, man. That's the lie we have made our refuge, man. Somebody give me Colossians 2 and 8 real quick. That right there is a lie we have made our refuge. When we look upon that, a lot of our people are scared to step on this image, man, because they are so destroyed, man. They are so fearful of this damn devil and what he might do, right? They have in fear and they refuse to destroy. Like the brother last night talking about, he ain't got a stronghold on me, man. That brother's in denial, man. He's destroyed. He said, he's showing you he got a hold on you because you're afraid to take that extra step and stomp his ass out. Excuse my language, man. Right? Read that. There's the book of Colossians, chapter 2, and verse number 8. Right up. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. And the Lord told you to beware that nobody destroy you through philosophy and stuff that has no weight, man. Read. After the tradition of men. After what? After, after the, the tradition, tradition of, of men. men. After what? After, after the, the tradition of men. men. Read. After the rudiments of the world. What? And not after Hamashiach. And not after Christ, but a devil like this, man, with them tight damn pants on, man. 
That's that's who you like to follow, man. You follow after wicked men like this, man. Right. right? The Lord told you don't be destroyed by wicked philosophies and stuff that has no weight, man. Oh. It means absolutely nothing. But our people pack those churches in and they'll be in the church tomorrow praising this damn devil, man. Right? right? Paying that camera king, right? Hey, hey, and that's and that's exactly what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Our people are absolutely destroyed. You said you gotta preach up. All right, come on. We'll, we'll finish that. You reading on that? Now go ahead and read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter seven and verse twenty-nine. Lo, this only have I found that God had made man upright. Right. But they have sought out many inventions. Hey, and that's the hey, and that's what we do, man. The Lord said He made us upright, man. He made us to follow His commandments, man. He made us a perfect being. But guess what? We the ones that sought out many inventions, man. Right, we the right. ones that want to always gather ourselves with these other nations, like right. the Tower of Babel. What happened, man? Right. People always want to gather together, man, to make a name for themselves, man, to try to overthrow the Lord, to prove that they better. And guess what? Jake, right behind them. Right. Tipping, tipping like a little toddler, man. Right. right in the shadow of these damn devils, man. Going to destruction, man. Right. right? And matter of fact, give me the book of Second uh, Maccabees, chapter five and verse seventeen. Right? Read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter six and verse number thirteen. Right. Yeah. Separate thyselves, so I can separate thyself from thine enemies. What the Lord say? Separate, separate thyself, thyself from thine thy enemies. Right. And take heed of thy friends. And that's the thing, man. We got to get away from these damn devils, man. Because, right. hey, we do not understand when we follow these devils, we always in a trap. Right. We always right. fall. Right. We always fall off. Because right. guess what? We can't do what they do, man. Right. Uh, the Lord allows them to do whatever they want to do because this is their kingdom, man. Uh, but you get punished for that, man. Give me Psalm 73 real quick. Right? Read that. This is the book of Second Maccabees, Maccabees, chapter 5. Four, so like, yeah. Chapter 4 and verse 17 right. And it reads For it is not a light No, 15, 15 so like, yeah. Verse 15 Nice setting by the honors of their fathers right. But like in the glory of the Grecians Best of all What the Lord say right. and Like in the glory of the Grecians Best of all And that's our problem We like the glory of these other nations, man Hold that Best of all, we don't want to follow the ways of the Lord, man. We want to go after these damn white folks, man. When they created the damn gymnasium and they was in there uh, working out butt naked, who was going with them, man? Right, man. Right? Messing with little boys, man. Right? We even got Eve, light-skinned Eve, be out there tanning like these damn devils, man. Right? right? Putting blind hair in their head, man. Right? Jake want to... <laughs> Jake want to be hanging out and putting damn loops in their ears and stretching out their earlobes and putting nose rings in their nose and going off, you know what I'm saying, talking about totally tubular, dude, right. and walking in these damn clubs, you know, head banging and going on, man, full of madness. But you don't consider that this is your damn downfall, right? Yes, Finish right, right. Right. By reason whereof sore calamity came upon them. Read that again. By reason whereof, so our calamity came upon them. And this is the reason why that calamity fell upon you, because you follow everybody else but Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, man. You always going after these damn devils, man, in every other way, but you refuse to follow after Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, man. Right? Go ahead, read what you got. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse number 2. It says, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. And that's playing, playing upon tables, man. The Lord only knows you, Israel. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. He only knows you. But guess what? You don't care about that, man. That's pure disobedience, man, for the Most High God, man. Give me Jeremiah 6 and 30. What you got? Go ahead. This is the book of Baruch. Chapter 4 and verse 3. Give not thine honor to another, right. nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. To a what? To a strange nation. Right. And hey, the Lord keep telling you over and over again, man. Stay with your own. Right. Be with your own. That's right. Love your own. Right. We all we got. Right. right? Give me Romans 12 and 10. Right? Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 6 and verse 30. Yeah. Reprobate silver shall men call them. What the Lord say? Reprobate silver shall yeah. men call them. Right. Because the Lord had rejected them. And that's it, man. Reprobate silver, man. We was once gold plated in the eyes of the Lord, man. We was a. Hey, we were some bad member jammers, man. Right. People would fear when they seen us coming. Just like right. the prophets. They was afraid when the prophets came to town, man. People shook. 
They was afraid, but guess what? They look at a bunch of niggas now, walk right past you like you ain't nothing. You are absolutely nothing, right? That's a sad thing, but the Lord said, prefer your own man in these last days, man. It's time to raise up the ruins of, 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 of Israel, man, and bring back the kingdom of the Most High God. Right? Read that. There's the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse number 10. Bring it up. Be kindly affectionate one to another right. with brotherly love. With what? With, with brotherly, brotherly love. love. Right. In honor, preferring one another. What the Lord said? With, with honor, honor with preferring with one, one another. Hey, man, the Lord said, hey, hold up your honor and prefer your brethren, man. Right. right? Get away from these damn heathen, man. It's time to wake up, Jacob. Man, it's time to wake up, you black and spanking Native Americans, man, and know that you the most, hey, you, hey, I don't even... Give me uh, 1 Samuel 7 and 23, or 2 Samuel 7 and 23, right? 2 Samuel 7 and 23, I believe. 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 23. Bring it up. And what one nation and earth is like thy people? What the Lord said? And what one nation and earth is like thy people? Right. Even like Israel. What? Uh, who, who on earth is like you, Jake? Right. Who, can, who can hold a candle to you, man? Ain't nobody jumping out the gym like LeBron and Jordan, man. Right. Ain't nobody running like Hussein Bolt and the right. little sister Sakari Richardson, man. Right. Ain't nobody bringing out precepts like my mighty brothers in front of me, man, and beside me, man. Nobody had that knowledge and wisdom and understanding like you, man. Can't nobody dance. Can't nobody do nothing like you, man. Talk about it, hey, but it's time to wake up and get away, man, because you refuse to hearken to the Lord. He's going to continue to keep you in this low estate, man, until you wake up, man. Right? I'm going to break out these two pieces and go on the drop them, man. Give me uh, 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 Romans uh, uh, 11 and 13 and 11 and give me Joshua. You know what it is, right? Right. Come. Bring it out. Come. Read that. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Bring and it, it reads, And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to what the Lord say that, that now, now it is, is high, high time, time right? to awake out of sleep. To what? To, to awake, awake out of sleep. To what? To, to awake, awake out of sleep. sleep. Right? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Hey man, the salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. The Lord said always keep a watch because you don't know when the master of the house is going to come, man. Right. He's going to sneak up on you like a thief in the night, man. Right. And you, hey, and if you get caught with your pants down like they say in the world, it's over for you, man. Right. So now it's time to wake up and choose what you're going to do in your life, man. Are you going to wake up and stand for the Lord, or are you going to lay down and let the devil do whatever he want to do with you, man? Right, right. right? Read that last precept. I'm going to shut it down. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 24 and verse 15. Bring it up. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, right. choose you this day whom you will serve, right. whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. Right. But as for me and my house, what the Lord say? As, as for me and my house, house, what the Lord say? As, as for me and my house, house right. we will serve you how? Hey, but shiver my shock out, son. Boom, yes, 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 son.